We're already setting up dinner dates yes. and, you know. <laughs> cocktail, cocktail hours, yeah. ones where I find man. Maureen Drucker and Susan Nurge are both breast cancer survivors, and they met on an app called Empower that is currently tracking their every move throughout treatments on their Apple Watch. I wish it had started earlier because we met through it yes. and we've been a great resource for each other through the app. Yes. You know, like every day basically we talk. The app designed by Polaris Health is conducting a study that connects cancer patients with other patients and their doctors while collecting data on their sleep, mood and physical activities. I just check in and then it asks me all kinds of questions. I feel pretty good today. I slept okay. The company's CEO, Mark Anthony, says he hopes it will transform healthcare. There aren't analytics today on behavioral health and integrated care. There are very few pieces. We're pulling it all together. We hope we're going to be the first that has a more holistic picture that even ties to the financial side that'll start to help move healthcare to a more integrated model. Dr. Corey McMahon, the director of behavioral medicine at MD Anderson Cooper Center, says the idea is working too. Patients are able to track not only their activity levels, yes, including their steps, um, but also their, um, their mood and their treatment side effects. So they get to start to see patterns in how their body and their mind is behaving, for lack of a better term, throughout cancer treatment. For instance, if you had, probably if you had pain that high every day or you were nauseated or fatigued too much, um, it would trigger to have a doctor to call you. Ellen McMillan says the app is a blessing and has also motivated her to get up and move. Before I had, got, had received the watch, I think I was in bed more because, you know, mm -hmm. I was feeling bad. But now um, I'm so interested in trying to learn how to work something different. <laughs> I'm on this gadget, you know, pressing buttons, trying to figure out well, how you work this. McMahon says the hardest part for her patients is the unknown. Getting a cancer diagnosis kind of throws your world upside down and uh, it creates so many changes in someone's life that just adjusting to it is incredibly difficult. Linda Gaylord Kwan, who is currently going through chemotherapy, says she uses the app for inspiration. For me, it's been like a companion for me because um, I felt all alone. Patients say it's the little things like sending each other flowers and words of wisdom. I think not only being able to be connected with people, but also knowing that the information is going to go to your care team. Mm -hmm. So you know that there's people out there that are keeping an eye on you, that they know what's going on with you. The women all say the main reason they wanted to do it was to help the next generation of breast cancer patients. I'm getting ready to have surgery at the end of this month, the 29th. I'm going to have a double mastectomy. And, I've, you know, like some of them already, they've been through it. Mm -hmm. So they're able to tell me what to expect or, right. or what not to expect or how I'm going to feel. The women also want to urge others to stay positive and get those checkups. Get that mammogram. Whatever you do, get that mammogram. I'm Jade Scipioni for FoxBusiness.com.